So our drilling and tapping operations are done for the two holes in the upper right hand quadrant of the part. Now we, we've got to do a, uh, a spot drill and a drilling operation for these two holes that are in the bottom quadrant of the part here on our counter bore. And so we might as well just copy the operations we already created. Now before we do this, maybe it's, it's a good time. So we've got our facing operation, our pocketing operation. We've got another pocketing operation. We can actually rename these. So we can rename this through pocket. And then we'll remember that that's the pocket that goes through the part when we're looking at it. We can rename this one. pocket and so that's the pocket that doesn't go through you could call it blind pocket you could call it joe it doesn't really matter it's just something that helps you remember what it is in this one that is our spot drilling operation rename spot this one was our peck drilling operation rename peck and this was our tapping operation we're going to rename that one tap and that way we'll know that our spot drilling operation is which one, the tap pecking operation. Actually, when you, uh, when you created the operation, you could have created the name at that point too. If you open up this one here, it says operation name. You could have filled it in there. Okay, so now that we've named our operations, the, uh, the counter bore needs a spot drilling operation. It needs a peck drilling operation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select spot and hold down shift and select pack or I can hold down control and select pack. I'm going to right click and say copy. I'm going to go up to my counter bore. I'm going to right click and say paste. And so now we've got a, pectra, a spot drilling operation, a peck drilling operation for that, except the peck drilling operation isn't going to be the right diameter because remember we used our number seven drill for that. We need to edit this one. So we're going to go ahead and, and click on peck drilling instead of the number seven drill. We're going to do our F drill, which is the clearance hole for that. Um, we can uh, look up our feeds and speeds. And again, let's go ahead and find our feeds and speeds chart. Um, here, let me go ahead. Let me find a new tab. We'll go to mfelabs.org. We go to information for students, tooling, mill tools. We want common drill sizes, drill feeds, and speeds. We're in wrought aluminum here. We want our uncoated drill. We want 300 surface feet per minute. And our drill here is about a quarter of an inch in diameter. So if I trace over on the chart, for about a quarter of an inch in diameter, I'll do a 0.009 inches per minute or inches per revolution for the feed for that. Now, on these charts here, you can linear interpolate between an eighth and a quarter to get the exact number, or you could go with the one that's pretty close. So let me go back to a spree, Alt Tab, Alt Tab to a spree. All right, so if I go 300 surface feet per minute, and oh, oh, what was it again? Oh, oh, nine for my feed. Oh, oh, nine. Now I've got the feed and speed for that peck drilling operation. And again, let's just make sure that our RPM doesn't go over 6,000 because we know we're going to cut this in a mini mill. Top speed of the mini mill is 6,000 RPM. So we've, we've copied our operations over and we've edited the peck drilling operation. The, uh, the only step left is to do a spiraling operation to make that counter bore.